We got some good matches coming up though in the queue that I'm seeing here as well. And honestly, the upsets are starting to happen. It's starting to go a little bit crazy here too. So we shall see what's going to be going on. Like we talked about though, we're finally about to head into this. We're starting on Battlefield. We got Quick versus Armadillo here. Samus versus Lucario. That's a matchup that you uh, do not see often at all this uh, is quite quickly you don't yeah. see a lot of lucario whatsoever he's quite a bit of samus though so let's get into it lucario a little bit floaty wants to jump in find a lot of neutral A's. samus wants to play back a little bit have charlie shot nice and active so uh Armadillo already landing really nice and safe the question is this quick Woo. know this matchup oh gee i mean you could say the same thing on the other side as well i mean the problem is with samus is if you don't have a good one you never really know what they're capable of but the opening interaction that Armadillo had there was just like hey, guess what? I'm here and I'm here to play in your face. A lot of the times though, uh, Lucario's a little bit confusing, right? Because sometimes if Lucario's losing, Lucario's oh, yeah. actually winning. So this, this character is still unexplored to me all the way, but then you have champions of this character like Armadillo, who's still doing it really well. Okay, eating two of those zeros, just waiting a little bit off stage. Has to find a way to come back on, Ooh. and that's going to be the down beat into the Charlie shot. Absolutely classic Samus fundamentals. Armadillo now down a whole entire stock. This game is moving fast. Quick tries to go for another Charlie shot, but Armadillo swung on his way back down. Okay, there's the Nair lining up for potentially the back air. I really like this stage for both characters because I feel like both characters are going to be kind of utilizing all parts of it, right? That top platform where Quick is going to up B2. Uh, the top platform as well where Armadillo is going to try to retreat Woo! to the side special. Not going to be enough, but still starting to get to that scary point. Got a big Just aura sphere, but there's that up there. All you have to do is jump back to Samus. Yes, she has landing mix-ups in the form of down B, but at the end of the day, she is still a floaty. All you have to do is get in her face. Armadillo baited the air dodge and he was able to get that kill. Beautiful stuff. Okay, now just slowly chipping away at this damage here, being really patient, making sure not to dash into any charge shots. Yeah, I was about to say, it's two big charged balls of Ooh. energy flying at each other right now. Armadillo, great air dodge up, not letting Quick get the exact part that he wants on the tilt, but it's not going to be enough here. Finds the charge shot. Armadillo, though, starting to lose a lot of percentage here. But like we talked about, Lucario is one of those characters where you're losing, it gets a little bit scarier. Yeah, especially at 186. Look how big that side B is. Just able to hit across the stage, but up B finally going to be able to kill on behalf of Quick. Quick is still, of course, not out of the woods or anything. Down throw into Forlido, not going to be able to fully confirm, but still finds it that second time around. Armadillo stuck at the ledge yet again. How do you get off? It's so tough, too, because Quick is definitely somebody who knows how to set up extremely well. These uppies out of shield as well. The great disruptor here. There's the back air. It's not going to be enough. Armadillo, though, starting to line up to no try and equalize it, but still Quick going to be able to maintain. Like I said, both of these players have to use all of the stage to get around, but still just jumping into the aerial. Going to last stock here. This is a fast-paced base. Fast-paced match Dara. That's oh, so hard. 68%. This can be easily evened up with just a couple of hits here. Up being not going to be safe enough against Armadillo. Full hopping, able to punish it. That time around, it does go unpunished. Just holding onto neutral. Be dashing, shielding, dashing, shielding. Q. They're both playing very meticulously. Okay, Armadillo still just trying to get this aura up. Big Quick realizes what's going on here, so we're going to see a lot, a little bit more Zare coming out. The up B is going to be punished by the Nair, but can't Ooh. find the finisher on it. Both of them are really scrapping here, but great charge shot to stop the momentum on the extreme Beautiful. speed. That's Jeez. a once a game mix up. you got to be ready for it, and Quick was not ready for it. That time, Armadillo almost finding a massive tech chase. I thought he would have liked to maybe go through like an up in. Side B still able to cover the goal, Ooh. and the neutral B into the back here. Excellent stuff as Armadillo clutches out that game one. Jeez, like I love the keeping them there with the Aura Sphere just to have it perfect oh. and then the back air just to put it all down. Great stuff by Armadillo. Like I said, this is a fast pass, fast paced match. I'll get it down by the end of the set. Uh, this is super fast paced considering these two characters when they prioritize their projectiles a lot. Oh yeah, I mean the coverage from Armadillo Q is massive because this would have been able to effectively like also call out like quick dropping through the platform. It would have at least gotten a couple of multi hits. It wouldn't have confirmed into anything huge. Had quick decided to dash off, Armadillo would have also like launched his oil sphere. And at this point, it's like okay, if I maybe popped you up, I could get a back hit. And he does indeed find that back hit. If uh, quick had actually like 
it depends, of course, at the preset that you get, the kind of character that you're playing. If you're grounded, you sometimes can be able to shield that, but Armadillo had that confirmed. He was ready to go. He was able to find that And stop. he's gone. <laughs> Where'd he go? Extreme speed, baby. Extreme speed right out of there. Where'd he go? Get him back. Hey, quick. Yeah, look at that Ooh. crowd around that quad stream, man. I mean, you got to be watching all of that. There are some really good matches heading up there as well. I mean, you have uh, Goblin and Chase right there, too. Like, Jaja, Jaja is still in this tournament, like, potentially qualifying through Tough 16, too. Who did Jaja, Jaja beat? Jaja, Jaja has been popping off, beat Apple. And then also took a game off of Tweak. Look at that quad stream right there. Beautiful stuff. We have found Armadillo. Oh, wait, no, we still haven't found Armadillo yet. I think that is Kronos versus Meister happening, too. I feel like. Who knocked uh, Meister into losing? It uh, was Tilde. Yes, it Tilde was beat Tilde. Meister 3 0. How? How? What? Built. I don't know. Built different. different. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I love this quad stream action you got going on, too. And I think that's also why this uh, tournament's moving so fast. Because it's like, you know what, a match is ready, let's just put it on quad stream. Like, let's oh, keep yeah. going. And then, of course, you get the full-size VODs as well after, uh, which is some really good stuff. good stuff. So, once again, I mean, the the hype in the crowd is palpable, Dara. You can hear it through our headset. You can feel <laughs> it. Oh, my God, I just see Snake over the Game & Watch. Is that? Oh, Kronos won then. How? Where did Armadillo go? Can we get a timer on Armadillo here? Yeah, oh. in the meantime, we'll just be looking at these. Yeah, no, Kronos took it to the old. So this two. was like the big thing, right, Dara? Like, how do you cast the quad stream? What match do you want to focus on? Well, we got Game 5, <laughs> Shattuck, and Cosmos. Let's look at that right one. Now. We got Big Boss 2-0 <laughs> over the Sonics. Dude, Ooh, geez, what the hell is happening? Okay, so uh, Armadillo went to go get some water real quick, but I mean, that Game 5 Shattuck Cosmos right now, I mean, it is going to be Cosmos going up 3-2. If you want to check it out, make sure you head on over to twitch.tv slash VGBootCamp to still get some stuff started. But once again, we have to kind of pivot back to Armadillo quick yep. here. Gotta but stay on task. Gotta stay on top. There's stay a lot of task. stuff happening. Everybody watching squad mode. Make get sure yourself a water bottle for when you play Smash Bros. so you don't oh, have yeah. to leave mid-set. Oof. All right, game number uh, false start. False Perhaps start. Not. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be happening quite yet. A little yet. goofy today. Everyone's feeling a little bit silly here today in the uh, in a uh, top 128. Honestly, we're definitely in top 32 territory at this point, right? Yeah, we we're have to be. Pretty right? deep into it as well. Yeah, we're pretty deep into top 32. Is all of 128 happening simultaneously? Yes. Two ways of it? Oh okay. yeah, that's all. Oh shot. yeah, there are some matches that are already queued up for winner side. Uh, top 16, like two, or got gotcha. getting lined up for winner side top 16. Okay. Like. We're, we're moving through this bracket, which is why, once again, a lot of people in the beginning were like, yo, best of five all the way through. I don't really believe it. You know, it's Max happening. and Cact, T.O. Joe, like, everybody is just kind of like, yeah, but we're, we can do it because we're EMG and we work yeah. like that. So good stuff, of course, once again to the EMG team. But we got to get back here to our Armadillo quick. Okay, still the same matchup. Still the same matchup, still going to be Samus Lucario. Um, ultimately, I feel like Armadillo slowly started to figure out how am I going to be escaping the ledge. It is still the biggest thing that Quick has going for him going into this. Um, it doesn't seem like Armadillo is the most experienced at it. We saw some like bad goals for the ledge. We saw some bad drop downs. But having that counter available to you is a unique option that you can use to get off. Armadillo applying a lot of pressure. Goes through the immediate down in. Neutral to come back on. I don't think Armadillo intended to stay off stage. I think he wanted to double jump back on with that neutral aid. Okay, here we go. Still back in this neutral here. I love how both of them kind of back up, charge up their balls of energy, and then just kind of like try and decide when to oh, go yeah. in. I feel like it's a little bit of a slower paced match than game one here. But Armadillo going to get caught by the up out of shield by Quick. Seems like Quick is very, very comfortable in the center stage right now. Samus forward air is going to come out here. And now Quick still trying to get set up, looking for the charge shot, but still uh. finally going to be able to find the mark. I love how patient this player is, Dar. Yeah, so patient, just buckling down to those classic Samus ledge grabs, and Olivadillo still struggling to get off the ledge, but keeping himself composed, keeping himself in the game. He's looking for the jump call out, not able to space out that side B, catching that jump from Olivadillo, leaving in a little bit too much with dash attack. Olivadillo is whiffing a lot. Yeah, at this point too, like this is the character you can't whiff against because of Samus's out of shield options. So there's the Nair, Armadillo trying to line up for the back air, but there's Quick using the platform to trip up the movement just a little bit, and these uppies out of shield, Dara, they've been so good on Quick's side. Oh yeah, Ooh. beautiful charge there. Now Quick has to make it back on. Armadillo actually not gonna dip out there, I thought we might have seen like a down air, or perhaps like a back air. 
maybe also feeling like an immediate upbeat flip quick. It doesn't matter. He made it back onto the stage. Okay, still quick. Lining it up. Great pair even. Does not matter. Quick still holding on to this. Wow. Love the bait. Love the grab here as well. We'll see them once again. Armadillo just cannot find this first stock, Dara. Can't find ground. Can't find safe ground to be able to land back against. Using that neutral beat just to call him a slight opening. Dash attack finally connects. Armadillo getting back onto the stage. But Samus and Quick look so elusive. They're so tricky to hit. You need a... With how much Quick has been conditioned to shield, this is a good time to start going for side beats if you're on Madillo. Ooh, extreme speed though, going to get at least one stock off. But you have to look at the time. This time is starting to click down. From game oh, yeah. one that went so aggressive, Dara, to now where it's a little bit more reserved here. Forward air not going to be enough. I feel like both of these players are now trying to be a little too cautious of each other. This down B is just messing up Armadillo's day here. That yeah, quick is just left trapping on the action. Finally using that extreme speed to back off. I think Armadillo might have thought that he had enough time to shield in. Unfortunately, now a whole stock down. This is a similar situation to last game. But quick is looking a little bit cleaner. And these out of shield options just keep on coming. Hey, okay, still, I mean, Armadillo has a lot to make up here, but if it's something that we said in game one, uh, Lucario is the character that can do it here, but still, a lot of these grabs have been getting Armadillo really kind of messed up here. Look for the tilt, it's not going to be enough. Quick, though, going to be able okay. to. Okay. Yeah, sometimes your shield just doesn't come out. Listen, man, it's okay. Hey. Five, yeah, you're still, you're still winning. The upbeat, and that's going to do it. Jeez, quick. 2 yeah. or 1 1 right now. Especially off the top. Samus up because it's scale too much in percent, but they can definitely catch them, like miss the eye at some point. So it can be a little bit ambiguous. You can reverse the up B as well to like really mix up which direction. Uh, and alas, a little bit of a little bit of an update. It seems as though Cosmos took it over Shattuck 3 to 2. So close. But yeah, this so far. Set, man, this set is so back and forth. I feel like Quick is winning when the match is a little bit slower paced. Armadillo is really winning when it goes to yep. like that boxing kind of type match here. We'll see exactly how this one's going to go. We're going to go back to Battlefield. I've seen more Battlefield today than I've seen PS2. Yeah, uh, a whole lot of Battlefield, especially if you have a Samus on the screen. This is a really good Samus stage. I just feel like the biggest thing that you need to really keep in mind when playing Samus is the name of the game is time when it comes to getting back onto the stage. The worst thing that you can do is give Samus too much time to set up so that she then covers all of your potential options. Uh, something that I want to see, potentially, maybe some more high recoveries from Armadillo. Or even more extreme speeds. Even if you do get punished for it, you might still have a chance of resetting neutral. Good parry, though, by Quick. After getting hit by just kind of the point-blank charge shot last game into the parry, all right, maybe we can let him go on that one. But here comes Armadillo. Here's that aggressive aerials that we wanted to see a little bit earlier. But now we're going back into projectile wars here, but Armadillo finally finding it in, but it seems like Quick is ready for it every single time. Yeah, okay, Armadillo air dodging back on. Quick wanted to go for the immediate spike punish uh, and still is continuing his onslaught, here, covering the left platform as Armadillo jumped to safety, just charging up all his field. They're both whiffing around each other and floating around one another. Okay, Quick still just hanging out here, finds these forward airs. I just think that Quick is finding a lot more of these out of shield options, conditioning Armadillo just a little bit more here. And Armadillo has to get back to ledge here, still Ooh, falling no for the jump. forward air. Ooh, the air dodge all the way out? Ew, that one did not look that clean. I don't know what Armadillo had intended on doing, but that might not have been the best choice for sure. Doesn't get the downfield into the neutral lane. Good DI in, but Quick is still in a good position to tech chase. Up tilt, actually going to be covering the opposite direction. Not sure if that was intentional, but man, Quick is just looking unbeatable. All right, still charge shots of plenty here. Armadillo wow. now starting to lose it all here. Still 100% at the second stop. Quick is not even above 100 yet himself. So now Quick still has the charge shot ready to go, looking for that loose aerial, but still the uppies out of shield, Dara. They've been really kind of the wind maker here for, for Quick, for sure. Yeah, and can you really blame Armadillo for looking this frustrated again? Another one of these extreme speed kills. You got 170%, that's gonna be an up to go off the top. Armadillo is looking a little bit tilted. This is the end game for all zoners. If you tilt an opponent, suddenly they get a little bit more predictable in their movement. They start running into stuff a little bit more often. So 
mentality is everything in a fighting game. It I, is absolutely essential. I just have to call out the ability and the conditioning that Quick has done onto Armadillo in shielding. It seems like every yeah. single time Armadillo has shielded, Quick is ready with the grab. Good parry, though, is Quick going to be able to find the charge shot again? Armadillo still just trying to find a way in, but Quick looks too comfortable. Good Zare to just keep Armadillo at reach, but still, Dara, how do you get around a Samus who is this ready and this kind of prepared oh. for every way you want to come up from ledge? Quick going to go up in the set 2-1. Yeah, Quick just looking calm, Quick looking composed. This is it. This is the zone of the game plan. You have to be aware of all of these high good cover mix ups. You have to be aware of how you can actually effectively stall as well. And Armadillo is looking super lost at the ledge. He's always getting back onto stage a little bit too long. Lucario doesn't have any super quick recovery options, which is giving Quick ample, ample time to set up at the ledge. And you said it best, conditioning the shield, using a lot of these charge shot mix-ups, a lot of these dash shields. Armadillo looks a little bit stressed and is just struggling to approach. So here's my question, Dar. You said this before the set started, that Armadillo has been thinking about the Aegis. Do you go yeah. Aegis here? Do you feel like your Lucario has been figured out? And do you switch up the tempo of the match? I mean, Mithra can and has the speed to really kind of get something started, oh, yeah. but we know that Quick's edge guards have been fantastic. Stop. Quick's edge guards have been fantastic this entire time, but it really might help you out in the neutral. But it does seem like Armadillo is just going to be sticking to the Lucario, taking a big breath here. Armadillo does not want to be knocked into losers at this point in time. Armadillo looks stressed, man. I would be stressed too. That's the thing about Samus players, right? I don't know one like emotion like filled Samus player, right? They all just have this very like poker face about them, and it's just like, all right, yeah, cool, I'm all set up. Armadillo though, they are just lawful neutral personified. Listen, some people, some people think that Samus players are evil. I think lawful neutral is lawful is a good neutral, is perhaps a little lawful evil, a little bit, depending on depending on uh, who you play and what you value. Oh, yeah. Still though, it's looking a little bit better for Armadillo at this point. The lead has not started to flee away, but still it seems like quick just these dash outs dash in. I feel like Armadillo is really not kind of keeping up to pace right now, but there's some of those aerials that we wanted to see a little bit earlier. Oh yeah. Okay, delaying a little bit at the ledge here. Armadillo applying a bit about a good amount of pressure on his own thing, but quick does come back in with that new trilogy just to be able to reset the situation. Those down bees just saying, hey, all of this impenetrable space, I'm gonna be hiding under these platforms. I feel like this is still just such a good stage for quick. Nice and big, you get to hide under the platforms and projectile damage priority. Charge shot does more damage. It does more over the damage threshold, Ooh. but that was untappable. I think Quick is starting to feel a little bit too confident and then Armadillo getting uh, the kind of spike or a little bit of some shenanigans off stage oh, yeah. that he needed. Definitely going to help out and especially now with Rage and full aura it looks like. Things are looking good for Armadillo much better in this game number four. Now just charging up all this field. Now look who's getting camped. How the turntables have turned as you extreme speed. You make it back. Ledge, you make it back, don't you? You absolutely make it back. Okay. You made it back. You just didn't stay there for a little bit longer. Regardless, though, Armadillo looking much better in this game number four. Maybe that little gimp is exactly what he needed. But now here comes Quick getting set up again with some of these charge shots here. Yeah. Looking for the forward air, but Armadillo just wants to prioritize this aura. And it seems like Quick is now starting to chase a little bit more. I like Quick's decision making on that last ledge trap because he didn't take too much time to set up knowing he didn't like throw Armadillo far away enough. You see how Armadillo is still in a position to double jump back on? That down beat, maybe not the best. But when he forces somebody to go to the ledge, this is it. This is quick games. This is where you can get something going. But Armadillo does knock him out there. Ooh, OK. Finds the sweet spot down here and even kind of links it into the other aerial as well. But there's Armadillo with the down air of their own. Good, good parry as well. There's the oh, yeah. Aura Sphere. Doesn't keep Quick in pace, but still Quick off stage. And now going to be able to recover the ledge. But for how long? Armadillo trying to shark out an aerial, but it's not going to be enough. Quick going to be able to maintain. That movement so slippery. Yeah. Just using the full extent of the down B. Wave landing as needed. Same situation as before. The extreme speed didn't put you on up over the ledge. I like it, but uh, alas, it seems as though Quick was ready for it that time around. Beautifully timed <laughs> up tilt, but oh my, he is zooming. 
Yeah, extreme speed mid-air, but it seems like Quick has stabilized at this point. And now we're going back to the edge guard game, but good dash attack by Armadillo to get out, but it seems like Quick has stabilized at least for a moment. Great back air by Armadillo. Going back to the Armadillo we saw a little bit in game one, finding some of these loose back airs that he really needed. Oh yeah, stalling a little bit with these down airs, just making sure that all of that aerial movement is as unpredictable as possible. And now Quick is struggling to call out those jumps just a little bit more. There's the up air looking for the second one. Quick just wants to take this 3-1, does not want to go to a game five. But Armadillo Whoa. definitely starting to get something brewing here. Gonna be able to make it back to ledge, but there are those uppies out of shield that we were talking about a little bit earlier, Dara. Oh, yeah, brewing something malicious. Absolutely beautiful parry. Armadillo quick little punish into the neutral as well. Uh -oh. Quick, now in a bit of a nasty spot. Well air dodging, <laughs> but uh, still safe. Yeah, that air dodge was a little weird going down. No way, I thought that was gonna be the tilt that won that, but it is going to be the extreme speed off the bomb right on the ledge. Here comes Quick though, getting that charge that he needs, but Armadillo also getting an Aura Sphere charged up as well. There's Look the up the air. I don't know if you can live one, one more of those, Dar, especially from above the platform height. And you're not going to be able to get away with shielding. Absolutely not. When you got a constant, like, charging neutral B, that is so much pressure that you do not want on you at all. Quick wave landing, directional air dodging all over the place, just looking to get any space away from Armadillo falling in with the up air. But Sam is a little bit too heavy. So, so close. Okay, good aerial by Quick. Quick going to be able to get set up here. But it is just going to be the charge shot right from the ledge. We're going to game five here, Dara. Armadillo, once again, will take a second to just stabilize here. And honestly, I do not blame them. Yeah, no, not at all. That last stock was so stressful all the way through. But all then you just saw how uncomfortable Quick was for like a lot of it. He was forced to play like so defensively. He wasn't allowed to actually get away with pressing any buttons at that moment in time because Armadillo was always jumping in, making the most out of how tricky Lucario's movement is. All of these B reverses over and over again. And then when Quick thought, hey, I have enough time to ledge trap, I don't know what happened here. He kind of got lost in the sauce a little tiny bit. <laughs> lost in the sauce, if you will. He didn't Good. press shield, he didn't press nothing. This is not a startup animation for anything. I don't know. Brain thinking one thing, hands doing another. That happens so often where you're just like, I know this is coming, but then your hands can't react fast enough. Good by both players, yeah. though. Yeah, this, this little thing going on here, not exactly what Quick wanted to see, but both of them just taking a quick second to kind of stabilize before going into game five. This bracket is brutal, Dara. You do not want to be heading into losers. I mean, you have enhanced PV, Onin in losers, Cosmos, or Shattuck in losers, excuse me. Literally so many solid players in losers. You want to stay in winners as long as possible. Yeah, this is this is a little bit tricky. So this is stressful. This is so unbelievably stressful. Both players need to take a breath. You saw how disappointed Quick was. Quick put his hands uh, on his head after the climax of that last game. Armadillo took a second to just shake things off. So game number five. This is it. This is where it happens. This is where champions are made, and people get really sad if they lose game five or pop offs or not pop offs. We'll see what happens. We're officially going into game number five. We're back here on Battlefield. Honestly, Dar, what do you think about the triplats and how they've been working out this whole set? They've been letting Quick get away with murder. They've been, get, they've been allowing him to just up B all over the place. But then similarly, Armadillo just seems like so comfortable on the stage and how he's like moving around it and how he's being reversing and stalling. Uh, I'm surprised that Quick was able to get a neutral in. Ooh. Well, an up B, excuse me, in response to that neutral which is typically safe. It's usually minus two. Okay, Armadillo finally going to be able to fire back. 86% though already, and like you said, the platforms have just been letting Quick get all this movement going. And now Armadillo has to chase down, finds Woo! the back air though, and that's going to be the stock. Got a little bit of aura there as Quick now has to take a little bit of a stretch yeah. back. That one's going to hurt. I don't even think that was like a true conversion of anything either. It's just as Samus, as a floaty, you're so afraid to go for like neutral air dodges in that position. So it's like a bit of a 50-50. Either you air dodge or you don't. And Armadillo got that situation correctly. He set that up, and now he's got a bit of a lead. Doesn't get the forward air into the neutral air, but he is still continuing to chase Quick down who cannot seem to get this guy off him. Yeah, this is great from Armadillo, right? I mean, you're up 
three stocks to two. Quick starting to bleed out as well. Going to go for the forward throw, but you have all this rage. You have Aura charged up. I mean, a side special too with the ledge dog could also do some damage as well. Oh, yeah. Going to just bounce right off quick. I feel like Armadillo is now jumping and backing up because he knows that Quick is going to throw out a Nair, potentially throw out a Fair, but still Quick not phased at all. Ooh, Ooh. where are we going? All so right. efficient too. Able that to get a fully through, charged oil spew. That extra bit of damage, that's exactly what he needs. He has figured something out. This can Ooh. be the opening. This can cut through everything that Quick sets up at the ledge to get himself back onto the stage. Ah. But Quick getting a little bit lost in the sauce. Well, uh, Ali Modelo, excuse me. Yeah, unfortunate here. It's still very, very high stress for both of these players right now. Quick still holding down center stage very, very well. It seems like Armadillo, though, trying to get some of these aerials started. Back air not going to be enough this time, but you can oh, yeah. tell those conversions are definitely there. Armadillo, though, still holding on to Aura as much as possible, but here comes Quick, finding the first aerial, but can't find the second until now. Quick, though, I, I feel like Armadillo is like, yeah, just come up here. We'll, we'll have a blast on these platforms. They're both jumping around quick, going to be calling out that one yet again with an up. Harvey Medillo is he's chilling on those plots. Right? He's having yeah. a blast. He's hanging out. Ooh, okay. Armadillo, though, has definitely surmounted a great lead for them right now. There's the side special. It's not going to be enough. Not a lot of rage here, but looking for the aerial to go with. There it is, though, looking for just to line up to potentially get the back air still, not finding much. Here comes Quick out of the corner, though, with double forward air. Dara, if this were to switch in Quick's favor, this would be massive. And finally getting away with the neutral getup. It can be. You just need to close. That is a bit of a challenge for Lucario. He really needs to commit sometimes if he's not in already like a juggle situation to close out a stock. Quick is playing defensively. Quick is playing back. Quick still. I mean, this is what Samus does, right? Samus is one of those tempo makers, Woo! but the extreme speed off of the bomb to get the stop. That was clean. Yeah, punishing the end lag of whatever Quick was cooking, eating a couple of hits, and most importantly, stuck off stage. Uh -oh. Has to eat the oil field. All the Madillo is committing out there. Where are Whoa, you going? No. Whoa! Gushed a little bit on the movement of the up B. Gushed a little bit too much. Probably inputted up before he even moved to the side. It happens to the best of us. You so. see Diddy Kong do that all the time, you see what Carlos <laughs> do too. So, so scary, but now Quick, once again, holding down center stage so well. This may have been what Quick needed. I mean, we saw last game, right, when when Quick kind of had that awkward little thing off the side and Armadillo was able to capitalize. Yeah. Now we could be seeing the same thing with Quick here. There's the up air, but here comes Armadillo, finds the down air into the tilt. And now Quick off stage here. Armadillo going to go for it again. No fear, even though that last time definitely led him to stop loss. Somehow jumping past that down B, Armadillo fought his way off of the ledge, but Quick keeps on catching him in between all of this platform movement. Huge commitment to the down air. did not come into fruition whatsoever. Ooh. As Armadillo finds the up air, finds the stock, finds the game and the set and the massive upset over quick. Yeah, Armadillo seeded 81 here and going to be able to beat quick after beating Jake. What a run so far from the Lucario main who will be going up to fight Spargo to make it into yeah. top 16. What a path Armadillo has, but so far has Brutal. been kind of just pushing it through and honestly good for them with a character that we really don't see. Yeah. Quick fell apart that last stock. Go ahead. I feel like for the entire